this video, we are going to look at learning analytics. Learning analytics are automatically created for any course in Schoolbox once it has student data to display. The learning analytics feature allows you to review data at a course and a class level and make informed decisions about your teaching and about your course content. You can access learning analytics in two ways. To access learning analytics for a course, go to the courses area. Find the course you would like to view analytics for. Click the three dots next to the course, then click learning analytics. To access learning analytics for one of your classes, go to your My Classes area. Locate the class you'd like to view analytics for. Hit the three dots next to the class, then click which course you'd like to view analytics for under the heading Analytics. When viewing the analytics, you can change whether you are viewing the analytics for one class or for the whole cohort by using the tabs at the top of the page. You can also change the term you are looking at by using the drop-down menu. Below this, you can see the overall progress of your students. This will show you the percentage of the course that has been completed by all students and the percentage of the course that is being completed by the most advanced student in the class or cohort. You can also see who the top and bottom performing students of the class or cohort are. These rankings are determined by the student's overall grade results. As you scroll down, you will see a box and whiskers plot, which displays results for all graded assessments. In the learning analytics feature of Schoolbox, we use the two key box plot method. Hovering over a box plot will give you additional data that is useful for understanding the results of your students in that particular assessment. The graph will show you the range of student results in a concise way. The box represents the middle band of your student results, or in other words, 50% of your student's results. The whiskers represent 1.5 times the range of the box. Any results beyond the whiskers will be represented as outliers. These are the students who sit outside of the main data set. Students who fall as outliers are students to whom you may consider offering extension tasks or further support. The box and whisker plot could be a useful tool to reflect on assessment tasks after students have completed them. If the median of the assessment task is particularly high, you might consider how to modify the assessment task in future to make it more challenging. Or you might consider how to challenge that cohort of students in future assessment tasks. You can further filter the results by assessment task by clicking the three dots in the top right of the graph. You will see a list of assessment types used by your school. This can vary from school to school, so your list may differ from what's available here. This could be a useful tool for comparison. For example, you could filter by the quiz assessment type to compare students' results in a pre-test to a post-test. Next, you will see the unit progress graph. This will show you the percentage of each unit that is being completed by all students and the percentage of each unit that is being completed by the most advanced student in the class or cohort. The indicators graph displays all indicators assessed in that unit. These indicators come from rubrics that are built and assessed in Schoolbox. The box and whisker graphs here show the range of student results per indicator. Again, hovering over these will provide you with more data. This is a useful tool to determine what skills in particular your cohort or class are excelling at and where they need help to improve. Again, any outliers 
will help you discover any students that need individual attention. Finally, there is an effort graph. This can be turned on or off, so it may or may not be visible at your school. This shows each student and compares their class page visits to their grade average.